Hello everyone and welcome back to this second part. So everything's recording properly. I actually lowered like resolution and hopefully you'll notice a difference. Like it'll be running smoother. So yeah. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. So where's this book, whatever she, um, Kate wanted? <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. No way I can stop here. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> yeah, move out of the way first. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Really? Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Well, at least for the time being, anyway. Probably Nathan Prescott, or whatever his name is. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. She definitely doesn't look very happy. Uh, like, what happened in the girl's bathroom, whatever. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Seriously? Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. I can guess why. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. I, could, I guess it just depends what sort of mood you're in. Like if you're in a happy mood, you're going to create nice and colorful art. If you're in a pissed off and depressing mood, you're going to create dark art. Not dark art as in like Harry Potter, but you get what I mean. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Hmm. Kate really has a doting father. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Didn't even flinch. Ouch. She left out amnation. <sighs> got, a, um, got a got an achievement, or whatever it was. I'll look them up after I finished. Yeah, 
they're Christians. Either that or they're like Catholic or something, I don't know. Good lord! This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. See what I mean? Lots of skulls and depressing crap. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Nope. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. I guess she's just come to a point that she's just given up. Hopefully we can change that. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Either that or she's like Gemini. Look it up, you'll see what I mean. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Hmm, so she scribbled out this note. It's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> they do not look very happy like this. <laughs> hmm. Weird picture in the background. I know, it sort of looks like he's sort of got like a mask or whatever around his face, with whoever this chap is. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hmm. Ouch. She left out amnation. Already, already read that. Silly me. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, do that. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. 
I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And, and. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Um, look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. Because we're not exactly going to believe her if she goes to the police. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already commuting with- Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. 
There's nothing weird there except you saw yours. Right. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Why is he talking in the third person? I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? At least we can run. What she have to say for herself? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Really? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because... I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for Lauren. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info.
David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I'm gonna end this part here. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again for the next part. Goodbye.